As we approach the upcoming elections, it is important for the people of Jesus to be engaged in diligent study of God's Word, to practice Christ-like love, and to consider all the responsibilities that come with voting in democratic elections. As followers of Jesus, we hold fast to the Word of God in Scripture. Matthew 22, Jesus tells us, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment, and a second is like it. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. On these two commandments depend all the law and the prophets. Here at St. Luke, we strive to take this word of Jesus seriously. Oh, we want to know the peace and the power of the cross as we consistently put these words of Jesus into practice. And so we strive to love God and love our neighbors in all that we say and all that we do. Not just in words, but also in actions. We believe that loving our neighbors so that human life flourishes is not an option. It's our calling from Jesus. And so as a congregation, we strive to be consistent in our love and our care for our neighbors. Uh, in Exodus, God's word says, You shall not oppress a sojourner. You know the heart of a sojourner, for you were sojourners in the land of Egypt. So we strive to put this word of God into practice through our newcomer and refugee ministries. We love our neighbors by providing hospitality and care for our newest and, and, and often our most vulnerable neighbors, the sojourners that have come to our land. In Matthew 25, we hear Jesus say this, For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. And so we put this word of God into action through our community kitchen, through our coat bank, our food pantry, all the other ways that we strive to meet the bodily and spiritual needs of our neighbors. And God's word also says this, Jeremiah chapter 1, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. Scripture makes it clear that loving our neighbor entails loving mother and child, both the born and those not yet born. The psalmist talks about life like this in Psalm 139. For you formed me in my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. And so, we put this word of God into action in several different ways. We provide free diapers uh, for babies through our Bundled Blessings Diaper Ministry. In fact, last year, we gave out over 20,000 free diapers to our neighbors. Your pastors and elders, I believe that another way that we can put the Word of God into action is by voting no on the upcoming Michigan Proposal 3 Constitutional Amendment. Now, this is a ballot initiative and proposed constitutional amendment with wide-ranging implications for abortion policy in Michigan for years to come. Uh, this proposed constitutional amendment clashes with the Word of God, what God's Word has to say about loving our unborn and vulnerable neighbors. Now, we realize that these are complex issues, and they are uh, filled with tremendous emotion, fear, pain on, on all sides of this issue. And so please, let me encourage you to pray and fast ahead of this vote. Also, if you have any questions, concerns, or would like help in finding any resources to better understand this matter, please reach out to one of the pastors. And then finally, in this and in all the issues that will arise in the upcoming election, let me invite you 
to be kind to one another, to love your neighbor, and most of all, to look to Christ Jesus, the rock of mercy, our stone of help. As he says, as the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love.